Okay, this is the pedestal. Look, each pedestal have the outlet. This is three phase for a big boat. Hot, 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 neutral, and ground. Oh, it's a big for a big boat. It's three phase. Okay, excuse me, but all the pedestals are the same. It's, it, it's not three phase, it's double phase or single phase. Okay, this is three phase. This is the outlet to connect the short power cable. And here is the breaker for this outlet. Exactly the same on the other side. I have the outlet and I have the breaker. I want to know if the ground of my pedestal, of, of that pedestal, is uh, no good. I want to know if the ground of this marina is good. Okay, we are going to check those measurements. Pay attention. We are going to introduce the ledge of the multimeter in between hot and neutral and hot and ground. You can do that here or here. If you open this panel, you have access to the breaker in the back and or here or here in the back. You see, you have hot, hot, neutral and ground here. You have hot, hot, neutral and ground here. Okay, we are going to check the voltage between hot and neutral and the voltage between hot and ground. Pay attention. In the pedestal, I check the voltage in between hot and neutral. 120. And the voltage in between hot and ground. 116. How much is the difference in between both readings? Four volts. If that difference is more than two volts, the ground is not good. Simple. Hey, Mr. Manager of the Marina, your ground is not good. This is why my boat is, no, my ground is good. 120, 115, five volts, that's not good. No, sorry, but this is not good. Pictures. Pictures called <laughs> Call ABYC <laughs> and Finito. Yeah. They close the marina right. in because, 24 because hours. Gonna destroy boats. Destroy yeah, the boats. That's millions and millions of dollars. That's correct. Right. You like it? Yeah. Two volts. <laughs> Finito. Two volts. All right. It's a simple way. The, the, the ground, the ground is a critical part. Through the ground enter the contamination. Okay, guys, good? All right, let me I continue with the diagram and we, and uh, okay, before of that, let me I, uh, explain the process to check the galvanic isolate. How, how to check the galvanic isolate. Okay, you remember I said, what is the internal composition of the galvanic isolator? Diodes. 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 A lot of diodes. A lot of diodes and uh, capacitors, no? To store us the energy. The, the picture with me? Yeah, with you. Just the artist. Board. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay, guys. <coughs> yes. This is why we are going to check this element with the multimeter in what function? Diode. 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 What is the symbol of the diode? The little arrow. The little weird arrow. The arrow with? Yeah. A blocker. A thing. Yeah. This is the diode. If you check any diode, the diode allows the, that the current flow in one direction but block in the other direction. In the next <coughs> coming class in electronics, we are going to play with diodes and we are going to solder in a board and we are going to create a rectifier. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. Yeah. The function diodes is here. You see the function diodes, guys? It's that one, it's the yellow one. The yellow one, you see? Okay, I go over there and I press the yellow function and now I have diodes. And I am going to read in DC. Ready? Okay. In the function diodes, yes. And uh, I am going to start, number one, before I continue, I need, I need discharge the capacitor with a piece of metal. They charge the, capa the, the capacitors internally. All right. And I am going to start the reading 
I am going to start the reading uh, in one direction. Look, the red one in this hand. And the positive here. And the multimeter start to grow 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 4, 5, 0 0.6, 7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and stay over there. Stay in 0 0.9, 0 0.1. It's good. No pass to one, no pass. Okay. Now we are going to remove that one. We are going to discharge again. If you didn't just charge it, it would just come right up as 0 0.9 immediately. Correct. Oh, hold. And we are going to do the reading in the other direction, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 9. Okay. What well, that indicates, if it's growing from 0 to 0, 9 in both directions, indicate that it's good. Mm -hmm. If the reading immediately is 0, 9, indicate that it's in short, something like this. If the reading if is 0 and stay 0, it's open. Mm -hmm. If the reading is 0 0.45 and stay, it's in short. Okay. In other words, it's good only if the reading is rising from 0 to 0 0.9 in both directions. That's it. Any type of galvanic isolator, the procedure is the same. That's the process. You need number one. Thank you, Captain. Oh, Captain. You need number one, disconnect the ground in both sides, discharge the capacitor, and start the reading in one direction. And after that, discharge again and read in the other direction. And the reading should be going up from 0 to 0 0.9 in both directions. Finito. In what scenario you don't need galvanic isolator in your boat? In what case? When you have uh, two or three phase, right? No. Phases, the boat's not in the water. No. When my boat doesn't have connection to shore power. When my boat is a small boat only with DC current. Generator. If I have a small boat only with DC, Ah, oh, Mr. Lopez, but I have a small boat with, uh, with DC and outboard, and I have sacrificial anodes on the outboard. Yes, those sacrificial anodes are over there for protection of the unit, the outboard unit. But uh, you don't need internally in your boat because you don't have AC current. That's clear, guys? Anybody follow me? In other words, when I introduce AC current in my boat, when I introduce a small AC panel, one air conditioning equipment, one battery charger, and short power connection, in that moment, you need install a galvanic isolator. So if you're using AC. Correct. Before of that, no, because you don't need it. Right. My friend, Mr. Lopez, why my small boat, the dinghy boat, is not corroded? And the other boat, yeah, my friend, because the big boat have AC power. <laughs> And the small one, no. The small one only have a, the outboard, a couple of navigation lights, the switch, and that's it. You understand, guys? 